Hello everyone. Tonight at Klein's Garage we're going to be checking the piston to valve clearance and the piston to head clearance on this B18C motor. Right now I have a set of 9.8 to 1 compression JE pistons in there with a PR3 or B16 cylinder head. I want to increase the compression of the engine a little bit. I want to go up to about 11.5 to 1 compression. Uh, but before I do that we need to verify what the valve to piston clearance is. What the actual valve to piston clearance is. You can check, do the math, or there's online calculators, but you never know how much was milled off the cylinder head exactly or how much the block was decked. Uh, those two actions will, will decrease your valve to piston clearance and uh, also your uh, piston to head clearance. So, you have reliefs here in the valve for the valve to go in um, with, with higher compression pistons. So, if you decrease your valve to piston clearance, you're going you're gonna to decrease the distance between the valve and the piston. And since I'm going to be going to 11.5 to 1 compression, 11.5 to 1 compression pistons or higher compression pistons in general are not rated for force induction. They're rated for naturally aspirated engines. So they're considerably lighter, they're thinner, they're less heavy duty, and they can't handle the really high cylinder pressures of, of uh, a force induction engine. So by adding, uh, by ordering a set of custom pistons with that a more heavy duty and a higher dome to increase the compression ratio, you're adding a considerable amount of weight to the piston. Also, you need a heavy duty wrist pin, which is way heavier than the uh, off the shelf wrist pins. So adding that extra weight to the piston and wrist pin you're adding reciprocating weight or weight that's going up and down inside of the engine. At, at you know nine to ten thousand RPMs this piston's going up and down in uh, rough, roughly 153 times per second. So that rod is stretching every time it goes up and down. So it's critical to know what what your valve the piston clearance and your uh, piston to head clearance is because on this engine might might have been, might be fine and it was fine I, you know, I took this engine up to 10,000 rpms a bunch of times and never had any any problems with it at all but by adding more reciprocating weight that rod's going to stretch when when it's at top of dead center so when that rod stretches that's going to decrease your piston to valve clearance and decrease the piston to cylinder head clearance and that can be very dangerous it, 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 well really it's catastrophic if it's too close that rod stretches it's going to whack the valve bend the valve or break the valve off and the valve is going to fall down inside and the piston is going to smash the heck out of it into the head and your motor's toast so uh it's, it's critical that that you you do this um if you're not going with a real heavy set of rods or uh, wrist pins and, and uh, pistons and you're not taking it up to really high RPMs and you know you probably don't have to but uh, I got a lot of money into this engine and a lot of time as well so I want to verify what what it actually is so I know when I go to order custom pistons I can say well you know what I want to uh, decrease the compression height of the piston. By decreasing the compression height to the piston you're moving the wrist pin higher up and closer to to the uh, to the dome the top or the top of the piston. That's your compression height. Standard compression height is 30 millimeters for B series but if you say you mill 15 thousandths off the head and you mill 5 thousandths off on the block sleeve and then they deck the block Right there is 20 thousandths of an inch. So when I order custom pistons, I may, depending on what the valve the piston clearance and the uh, piston to cylinder head clearance is, I may move this compression height up a little bit or reduce it by the, the distance to, to make it to give me a roughly 45 to 50 thousandths of uh, piston to head clearance and um, so. I know the motor's safe. Then I can take it up 10,000, 10, 5, and I'm not going to worry about, uh, you know, grenading the motor if it whacks a valve or piston whacks a chamber. So 
is basic Play-Doh. Been messing with it here for a little while. What you want to do with a Play-Doh, you don't want to use a whole lot. You want to you want to get it down the valve or the leaf. And spread it out. You want to make sure you leave leave roughly a third or, or more of the piston open because when that valve opens up, that valve is going to push down into here and push down into here. So you want to leave room for the for the, the uh, clay or play doh, whatever material you decide to use, to go, or else you can end up bending a valve when you when you turn the motor over because there's no place for the clay to go. One thing, um, right now I'm using my old ARP head studs. These have been torqued uh, two, three times already, so they're, I'm going to heave them in the trash, uh, and I got a new set. And I'm also going to reuse my old head gasket. This is going to get thrown away after we're, we're done doing this. Um, you want to make sure whatever head gasket you use, you want to know the crush thickness of the head gasket. The thickness of the head gasket when the head is torqued down to factory specs. So factory Honda head gaskets have a crush thickness of 26 thousandths of an inch. The head gasket that I'm going to use is made by Golden Eagle. The Golden Eagle head gasket is has a crush thickness of 28 thousandths. This is the, I believe it's nitro coated uh, gasket. So for their nitro coated gasket, I was told by them that this is 28 thousandths crush thickness. So 26 thousandths, once I, once I torque it down, we do this, check the, the Play-Doh thickness here. I'm just going to subtract or add two thousandths to the uh, piston to head clearance and the valve to piston clearance. So we'll know that uh, we have plenty of clearance and uh, you know, we're adding two thousandths to it because of the thicker gasket. So got the plate on place. Now I'm going to torque the uh, head down. <laughs> 